Hey everybody, uh, in spite of all my best efforts, we've been playing some pretty good chess lately. <laughs> by, by my standards, I should say. You know me, I love the closed Sicilian. Um, I'm a, I'm, I play a 2D, or they play 2D6. Or are we out of their preferred line? What is this? What is, what is this series of moves our opponent has chosen to make? Bishop here. They move. Take, take. Take, take, take. I lose. We just play that then. Okay, we're getting set up for um, a very closed game. I guess that should be expected when you play the closed Sicilian. I choose to meet them on their own terms in this closed game and then figure out what we're going to do. I would rather not double my pawns. Let's minimize the role of this bishop. I want to stop their knight from moving here. I think there's a powerful space for it. See that? I, I don't actually mind that too much. If they want to meet me halfway and we'll have like a pseudo-symmetrical position, so be it. It's a very weird game so far. Whose position is better? I don't know. Everybody's position is bad. Can I tell you something I wouldn't mind? No, I do mind it. This is our move. If they take... Oh, they're not going to take. <laughs> They've chosen not to take. If they take, we take. No big deal. If they push, we take. We've undoubled our pawns. And this pawn is like a very weak point for them. Okay, I'm going to... Oh, what was that move? No, you just... Blunder? Blessed are the forgetful for they get the better even of their blunders. Just a horrendous move, honestly. We need to put pressure on the, on the middle. That's, that's the dang line right here. We absolutely have to take, unfortunately. They go here. Okay. Follow it up. Give me one of these. No, first get the queen out. You want to double my pawns? I say go ahead, double my pawns. We should not do this exchange. The only reason I'm doing it is because I'm stupid. <laughs> but look, we've undoubled our pawns. It just so happens that it's bad because the reason we, uh, they got undoubled is because of the fact that we um, lost one. So that's not great. You want to see some, some hot stuff, though? Well, like, here's the thing. You can't move your bishop. I believe you've made a grievous error. You can't even put me in check if I do this. If you move your bishop, you lose a rook. So instead, you're just going to have to choose to lose a bishop. And then we take this pawn, and we're back in the saddle. 30 seconds down, but with a relatively simple board position, playing on instinct. This is why I love playing the closed Sicilian. An opening I know nothing about, except that your second move is knight to c6. And then you fee and keto your, your bishop. See, this is a tricky move. I have to take. You're going to take me? Maybe? Could happen. Stranger things have happened. They're pushing! Now, that was unexpected. Now, here's the deal for me. I think we got to stop this past pawn. So I'll just turn my bishop into a pawn. I take again. I secure the pawn that we gained. You have to take me or you have to move your rook. That's interesting. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected that one. Because now I take another pawn. I take a pawn that reminds us of the good times. I take a pawn that reminds us of the best times. I'm, uh, I guess I'm just concerned <laughs> um, about what they're doing. I can put them in check and swap rooks. I lose the pawn for it, which might, it may or may not be that big of a deal. I don't really know. Truth be told, I think I would take the rook swap here, lose the pawn, and then attack this pawn, which will be indefensible for them. They, on the other hand, are going to try to get their rook here. Well, you know what? That's indefensible for me, so fair enough. I think I know what they're going to do next. They're going to play rook here. A rook there? Interesting. Then I'm going to do this, which allows me, because once you move, I can put you in check. It's a valuable move from my perspective. If I want to do it like that, what if I do it like this? If I do it like, 
If I do it like this, you're forced to move, and then I get a free discovered check with, the, with my rook move. So they got to be mighty cautious about what they do if they don't swap. If they do swap, see, they, like this, I love this. Ah! <laughs> no, I don't. I freaking hate this. What have I done? Okay, put me here. This is a real issue. I just lost the game. And I'm not even talking about in internet parlance. Wait, what are you doing? Move me? What are you going to do? They, they should still win. They will still win. That w I guess I just didn't think about the fact that their bishop, or my bishop could be taken by their rook. Yeah, this is like, it's unwinnable. But I can make myself a little annoying. I don't want to move. I don't want to move again. I still don't want to move. I still don't want to move. Stay on it. Let's go. <laughs> we, yes, we missed the win. Yes, we blundered many times. Uh, but I'll take it. Honestly, the fact that, I mean, they only had like five seconds on the clock, but... I think we maybe got a little lucky. I play the anti-fried liver defense because I give too much respect to uh, uh, YouTube gambits, right? Every time. And then we get fried livered anyway because I don't know what I'm doing. I guess you just play that. Then we fork you. This is definitely levy pilled. I don't know if I've ever seen anything as levy pilled as, as this specific moment right here. You, th this game has Levy Rosman's DNA all over it. Levy, look what you've done to the state of internet chess. Honestly, great move. Just kidding. I can stop you. I can annoy you. I'm just a little guy. Like, Do I want to push you? You really think I won't push you up against a wall? Like, Are you just going to come back here? Does that become a problem for me? Or if you come here, does that become a problem for me? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really wish they castled queenside, let me tell you. I do. Okay, now... Let's, let's get in there. Let's, let's double up on this. We can play this. Okay. Well, obviously, I'm not going to do that. Like, don't be a fool. Actually, you know what? Let's do this anyway. They can't take here. Then we take their queen. Ah! I'm so st Dude, he's so quick with it! <laughs> Where are you going? You should just go back. You should listen to your friend Billy Zane. He's a cool dude. He just wants what's best for you. I gotta resolve my own fork situation here. What li little wooden guy? You're playing the most like attacking chess I've ever seen in my life. I'm not even upset. I'm, I'm like, if anything, I'm impressed. I didn't know you, that you could play attacking chess that's on this level. Okay, here's the deal. Let me castle real quick. That's honestly like an insanely great move. And he knew it was coming. That's the worst part. I'm going to take you right here. You're going to take me right here. I don't want to take you. But I can't. I got to move. I have to take you. I don't want to. I sincerely do not want to. What are we? We're only down by a pawn, right? Is it honestly? I can't. I can't hang with this gamer. I I, I can't even right now. Like this is the he's the every move he's got a perfect response to. How does this happen? How is this? This is God's chosen chess player. That's what happens when you play h6. And then queen e7. I find myself so far behind the 8-ball. Somehow I'm also down on time. Okay, don't move your rook to here because of the fork. That's, that's lesson number one today. So what do we do? 
You should get your knight involved. Start to attack this little one right here. They got to go do something like this. Does it weaken their overall position? Not really, but then we can follow up with something like this. They're going to... You know what? I need, to get, I need to recover my pawn. We are pretty isolated right here. Don't get me wrong. This is also a pretty good spot for my knight to just be, man. Blocks the open file. You knew it was coming at some point. Am I crazy? I, you think I don't see what's happening here? If I take, he puts me in check and takes my rook. I, this is just an honest question. Where did this guy come from? Because <laughs> he's driving me crazy. <clears throat> You're going to go here next. That doesn't bother me too much. Although we have to stop this. We're, we're down on time too? Really? In, in this economy? Okay, bring me back. We have to stay there. No, because then you're just going to... Okay. If you go there, what do I care? I don't care. I don't care. What if we go here now? Then we put you under the gun. Then we force you out. We force your hand. Where are you going to go? We gotta keep you moving. We're going. Oh, now we just let him take this. Okay, that's that's pretty unfortunate. That's pretty bad. But look at this. Now we got this bad boy um, covered with equal material. It's not even that good. We're down 14 seconds on time. They have a fork incoming. We have to stop it. I can't stop it. I think so. I'm gonna try to force your hand instead. We're down 12 seconds. If they move their knight, I'm... Oh, but if they don't, I'm not covered. <laughs> Honestly, I, and I, I want to be very clear. This is not a accusation in the slightest. I actually just think we're going up against like someone who's really on the upswing as far as chess goes. I don't want to simplify the game. If anything, I want to keep it as complicated as possible. Like, this is someone who, I mean, they, they played an amazing game. Can I look at their game review real quick? I, again, this is not an accusation. I'm not at that level, okay? I'm not the world champion. I just want to see, they, they even only played 81%. So clearly, I just, I don't know, I got out of my depth on that one. I thought they, they had a, a number of, of sharp attacks. But you know what? I mean, I also am not the best judge of chess character. Okay, don't let the confidence flag too much. We don't accept the queen's gambit. We don't play the symmetrical queen's gambit either, apparently. I can't remember. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not an opening-based gamer. This just looks right to me. You think they would just play this? They would just play that. Then you know what? I'll play this. I still, I, I got no complaints, I think, about the way that this position looks. Looks very normal to me. Let's get some coverage. Let's go, boys. I still don't mind, but there's a part of me that just wants to simplify the board a little bit. I will take to preserve my pawn structure. And for now, you know what I do on this one? We play this. They do, they can win a pawn here, I think. But I can also play this and try to push you off and then recover. I hope. I don't know. I mean, again, I'm, I'm figuring all this stuff out on the freaking fly. Either way, we're going to screw up our pawn structure, huh? Let's screw it up this way. Am I crazy? We just want a piece, right? It's one of those times where you're like, did that just happen? <laughs> did we just become best friends? So what am I going to do now? Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be a scumbag now, if that's cool with you. I'm going to try to force uh, an end game.
if that's okay with you, and then use my advantage in terms of pieces in order to put myself in a favorable position to win the game. Put me here. I want to keep this pawn under attack. I would like to double my rooks. Okay. I mean, in that case, I would happily go here. And then I would happily go here. Okay. Understood. I understand where you're going with this one. We should get ready to take unopen file. There's a, I mean, this is not a, a, an easy game, necessarily. I'm just repeating what I hear uh, chess YouTubers say. It's not an easy game. It seems very losable to me. How do you stop this one, brother? You push this? Okay. Good point. I would like my knight to be able to do something. I'm kind of weird like that. We need to attack this next, I think. We're down on time. By the way, what else is new? I don't know if that's any good. I believe I might have just um, done a check just to do it. But then, look at this. Holy cow. All of a sudden, we're in there. Okay. I'll move back slightly. Hmm, interesting. I would take... No, I would take... Then I would do this. I'm just trying to keep more pawns under threat. I'm trying to keep them from taking as many of mine as I can take of theirs. 49 seconds. We've almost neutralized the time advantage. Oh, that's a problem. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> ah! It is! It's not. It's not. It's not. Oh, they shouldn't have done that, though. <laughs> That's not a good move. This is now completely unprotected. Yep. And now you've... Some, uh, something like this, maybe? You could take this one, too. I'm, I'm in a lot of trouble. And I've done it to myself. That's the worst part. I, you, you can't really promote. I think. What am I doing? That's a great question. I'm about to get forked and lose my knight. That's the first thing I'm going to do here, if that's cool with you guys. I'm still going to be down on time. <laughs> you can't take it, so I'm just going to... Oh, but I lose an extra pawn out of this. This is... I'm, oh, and that's not even the right position that I wanted to move my piece. I wanted to place you in check instead. It's officially the worst um, endgame of all time for me, and we're still going to get a draw through. Oh, maybe we're not going to get a draw through repetition. Because, like, here's the thing. They, I wanted them to come down here so that I could put them in check and take this pawn. They don't want to give up a pawn. So instead, I was the scumbag on that one. Basically, I deserve to lose that one for sure. We made a lot, especially in the endgame when we were up by a piece. Like, that's a, that's a nasty time to be making some blunders. But you know what? We played okay through the mid-game. Winning the piece felt good at least. What is this? A center for ants? It's a devastating move. The queen has to go right back where it came from. You think they're going to castle queenside? Were I them, I would castle queenside. I don't know what I'm doing here. We've opened our closed Sicilian. And we're the ones who chose to close it in the first place. So it's a little unusual. But this looks good. It looks good to me, anyway. I mean, I know you're not going to take that. So I'm not... I'm, and what are you going to... You know what? I would love to open this up in a heartbeat. It is losing a strong bishop for us. But at the same time, like... 
oof. That's like, a, this is wide open spaces. There's room to make a big mistake. Love to get a little check in here. Okay, you've fallen, you've fallen way back. You still can't really move your bishop, which is, but you're going to castle kingside or queenside next. I could put you in check. There's really no purpose, though. I'd rather just lock it down here. Please. Oh, what? Did you think that? What am I thinking? Jerry! Look at your pieces, Jerry! This has not been my day as far as chess goes. But I did get a 10-piece in Super Auto Pets. So, you know, I did stay at a Holiday Inn Express last night. My basic goal in this life is to ruin this bishop, okay? Come on. You think I'm going to fall for that? That'll be the day <laughs> that I die. I still don't think this is that bad. We're down by three. We have good attacking chances on the king side. We're up on time. I'll, I'll take things that I never expected to happen for $100. Also, I think they just lost their queen. They've put their queen in a position where it can't go anywhere. They, well, they lose a queen, I guess, is not the right word. They could trade a queen for a rook. Okay, actually, that's a great move. Because they can now trade a queen for two rooks. And honestly, I'm not sure that I'm into that. So here's what I'm going to do instead. Because if I take, they take and put me in check, I have to move up here. Then they take here. So I lose two rooks for a queen. I would say not a good deal. But here's what strikes me as a decent deal. Is we just do the whole swap and then we recover our pawn. And we recover it with, with some style. But we do suffer some problems as well. Do I want to do this? I don't think so. I think I want to do that. We got to be worried about like bishop here followed by a back rank mate. Now the thing is like this shouldn't be that bad for us but it kind of is because it's very hard for us to generate like any kind of counterplay here. I can't protect this pawn either. Oh, yes, I can. So, like, we're actually... They're up by one. I would say we have a superior pawn-based structure just because we have a lot more of them. I would absolutely do this, I think. Just in principle, it gets rid of a doubled pawn. I'm just wondering if I can even push through here. I don't know if the answer is yes. We had some very like complicated end games in here. I think I have to. Yeah, this is hard. I think I have to do something like that. I have to like find a way to force them out. We need to do this next. Which then allow data can't take this space. So now, I, but I can't take that space either. Now I got to do something like this. this. See, this is dangerous. Now they've got to make a move they don't want to make. But they can just move their bishop. That's the beauty of the situation that they got. They can move their bishop anywhere. And then I move back and they move their king up. And then I move here. But they move their king. Uh, I don't know. They can start to... I can, see the, I can see the problem here. They can start to take me. In fact, there's not even a start. This is the finish of it. Because now they just take with their king and it's... It should have been over. But I'm still zugzwonged. <laughs> Maybe I'm not. I don't know. I'm not. They should still... Even with 20 seconds left, they should still win here. Okay, now I'm zugzwonged. Nope, Okay. Oh my god. This is an incredible video of chess. Can you believe we had we had three draws?
at my level, and they were all draws due to repetition. Hold on, I want to I want to play. We gotta. Can I? I'd like to play a bullet game. Is that possible? I've got to play a three minute game. Okay, if you're gonna force my hand, I don't even mind if we lose. I just want to experience like a definitive game of chess, even if it is a loss, like the one we had earlier. No, you don't put them in check. What do you? Maybe, maybe I don't know. What do you do? What would you do? I would just do this. I'm a very, I'm a very passive gamer. Something you're gonna need to know about me. Keep the knight from coming here. Do you have enough? You don't have enough yet. You don't have enough yet. Next step. I always love to remove the fianchetto bishop if possible. I learned this from the best. That's right, Levy Rosman. Perhaps you've heard of him. He's a noted gamer. Extraordinaire. Give me something like that. Then give me something like this. Put myself in a more threatening position. I think we should take. And then just fall back and play that. But this, yeah, okay. I think they've played them. Oh, my knight, though? My knight's okay. Yeah, my knight's okay. We could even go here. Things I'm not sweating. Dot this. You're going to push me again? Who do you think you are? Matchbox 20? Give me, give me this move first. Put some pressure on him. Try to unwind the whole ecosystem. Then give me one of these. A lot of people have accused my knight of being completely worthless. I'm here to say that that's slander, and it's, um, and it's completely true as well. I'm going to go dunk, dunk. That's my new play. <laughs> They're doing a, a bang-up job, may I just say. I think they're doing a fantastic job here. Now, this is what I wanted. If you want to play a closed game, cats... Then let's play a closed game, okay? What are you going to do now? You thought I was just going to play your pawn gambit all day? I got things to do, okay? What if I push? Take, take, we're fine. I push. Take, take, we block them in a little bit, maybe. I don't know. We've got a heavily isolated pawn. That seems poor. It seems bad for business. Seems tough to get a handle on. Seems complicated. I'm going to come here. How are you going to get some more pressure on this? You're going to put it right here? That's fine. Because <laughs> I can't stop you. <laughs> you know what actually I can do? Hold on. I'm like, if I... <sighs> no, let me force you back a little bit first. Let me force that bishop back. That's not back at all. That's forward! You ever get the idea that you're being, like, severely outplayed? I think we might have just managed to cause a breakthrough, but... Wait, can't they just take this? No, because if they take, I take. Wait, this is incredible! This is amazing! Their, their rook is, uh, is pinned to the king! Let's go! Now what about, hear me out here, what about a check? That's not check! <laughs> what about check? That might have been better. Slash definitely would have been better. Wait a minute, no, that's incredible! I'm an amazing gamer! I'm insane! Look at this! I'm unbelievable! <laughs> the queen is pinned to the king! I'm one of the best to ever do it, apparently. Look at this. Jerry! He's pogging. He's pogging? He's pogging, George. You don't interrupt a man when he's pogging. Okay, this is like, basically, I'm just a coward, but... Oh, my God. If It's a stalemate. No, it's not. It's not. They can go here. Thank you. Thank you. So I'm going to be a scumbag? Maybe this is not being a scumbag. Maybe this is sensible. We just promote? 
Don't stalemate. Then we go here, here, here. That felt good. That felt good. Get, can you tell me? Tell me, chess.com. Don't lie to me, Walt. Was there a brilliancy in there? Was there a brilliancy? Rook to c5? No brilliancy. <laughs> I knew that would set a great move. This is the only move that works, and you found it. And then, inaccuracy. In my opinion, best move is probably just that, right? Yeah, it is. What they did, though, it is worse by a piece. And then, uh-huh. And then, oh, and then, uh, uh, oh. Oh, queen h8 made his best. Okay, that's fair enough. But this way, we got to slow bleed him. Look, I mean, come on. Come on. That's a beautiful little tactic there, even if we did miss made in one. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.